Today, we are challenging our chef, Kush, to see if he can take a piece of fast food and level it up. How are you feeling? How many levels? Chef level. Chef level. Chef level. Right. Lift the cloche. Yeah. What we've got for you here is a foot long meatball marinara, including olives, red onions, uh, there should be some pickles in there, bit of pepperoni, it's been toasted, there should be cheese, crispy onions, and I added salt and pepper. What, it's a feature? Yeah, salt and pepper is a feature because I wanted it to be well seasoned for you, I wanted to save you a job. Do you think in 20 minutes, can you I can take this to a chefy level? Can I have some thinking time? I'll give you five minutes to think. Right. You've had your five minutes? Yep. Do you have a plan? Yeah. Right, in that case, I'm gonna put 20 minutes on the clock. Your time starts in three, two, one. Chef it up! Oh, that didn't work. Right, first things first, get rid of the worst part of the sandwich, which is bread and cheese. I haven't had a Subway in 13 years, maybe. Wow. And this, for me, is just, well, if it turns back into dough when you squeeze it, it's not good bread. We went for the Italian white, so I thought that might give you the most options. Because it's neutral. Yes. And flavourless. Flavourless. Fine. So, this is a classic Italian sub, isn't it? You know? Yes. We have real faith in, you know, the provenance of all these ingredients. Yes, they came from Subway just up there. Subway just up there, right. Yeah. So, I'm not going to try and make this gourmet. Okay. Because there's no point. Right. Gourmet food is gourmet ingredients elevated. This is... Uh, <laughs> How do I say that being cancelled? Uh, so this is meatballs in bread. Yes. How would you like bread balls on meat? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can deep fry all of this. Interesting. And okay. Make like fondue bread balls or cheesy balls. Yep. Cheesy bread balls. Yep. With uh, a sofrito-based meat sauce. I can see that you're still thinking this through as you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always, just get cooking. Right, flavours of Italy. We've got some chilli going in, got some fennel seeds going in, see the timer ticking down. Got some dried organo going in. Uh, got cheddar, mozzarella from the fridge, that pre-grated stuff we always have on hand, always handy. Not the best stuff, but always good to have. Yeah. An egg. And what else are we putting in it? Truffle. Yeah. Always that. Truffle for flavour and so much truffle. Parmesan. Okay. I need some seasoning, so parmesan a bit more. We're going to turn this into essentially like a bready falafel mix. Okay, so now bready falafel. Right, you've brought a new word into into it. Falafel. Yeah. If I confuse it as much as possible, yeah, no one can at me. Sure, yeah. that's that's exactly how the internet works. Yeah, a massive yeah, definitely big ingredient in falafel is parsley. Yeah, so that's going in. What else goes in falafel? Chickpeas. Yes, and? <laughs> Tahini. Salt. And salt. lemon. Lemon. Lemon, to balance everything out. We need to balance, don't we? Yes. Yeah. So this is a trend that we've seen quite a lot online recently. Of chefs where flapping. Where you, <laughs> you just see somebody going up to a chef and handing them a bag of fast food. You know, it's a Big Mac and chips. It's a Whopper. It's something like that. I've never seen somebody do it with a Subway. And I thought that would be a great place to start. And also, you're far more likely to take on the challenge than another chef that we know. Oh, I like the challenge, mm. but they're normally quite loaded in my favour. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is going to go in and... Yep. Falafel. Sure. Right, you take care of that. Yep. I'm going to make a sauce. Right. Yep. Right, okay, so oh, let's deconstruct this subway even more. So we've got meatballs, I want to pick them all apart. Pepper, pepperoni, pepperami. Yep. I don't know if we need this extra meat. Well, if you don't need that, then I can probably find a good home for it. Snacking meat, you're welcome. So we've got meatballs, let me taste one. Oh man, really sweet, really soft. Yep, oh! So going into your sauce, you're starting with garlic. Garlic, yeah. Fry that off to a golden brown, leave it quite chunky, can always waz it up later. Waz it up. Into that, we'll get some spice. Get some, what's this one? Jalapeno. Jalapeno. That'll go in. Should so that's on top of the jalapenos that are already in Those the sandwich. Those are pickled. So right, I pulled okay. them out. So the pickled jalapenos, olives, really salty. I'll make a little salsa to go on the side. Yeah, nice. to, to balance it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do a, a ball tester? Yep. Fry a nugget off? Yep. Give it a taste, check the seasoning. Sure. Yeah, lovely. What sort of size are you looking for? 
Uh, meatball, that meatball size? That meatball size. Perfect, yeah, you ready? Perfect. Yeah, is it all hot enough? Pepperoni's gone into our, uh, what are we going to call this? Is this a ragu? If you want it to be a ragu. Is this bolognese? <laughs> bolognese falafel. Bolognese falafel balls. Nice. Nice techers, nice meatballs going in. How long do you want on that, Chef? Till it's cooked. Roughly how long is that, Chef? I don't, I've never made this before. <laughs> I don't know. Till it's golden brown. Golden brown. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Yeah. Oh. Pop it there, Chef. Coming on, coming, yeah, on, coming, coming on, on, coming on. Coming on, coming on. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just hope it's seasoned correctly. I wasn't in charge of that, though, was I? But did you? Well, that's why we're doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are we looking for in this, then? What do you think you're going to get out of it? Well, if you're talking about falafel, you want it to be slightly crumbly, but you don't want it to be too dry. You want a good hit of flavour from it, and you want it to be something you can dip in something else to add more flavour Are we it. definitely calling it falafel now? You've mentioned the word falafel a number of times. I oh, know. Right, <laughs> here we go. Oh! Can I get a cheese pull if I stick it back together? Yes! Oh, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah? If you can make six... Six. Perfect balls. Perfect balls. And we'll balls. fry them when we're ready. Fine. Time check. We're coming up to nine minutes in. You've got 11 minutes left. Oh, all right. Are you going to tell me that 20 minutes was too long a time? Well, we'll see after I pour this lovely 2015 Grand Reserve Rioja in. Uh, I think we'll go with some smoked sriracha into here as well. Okay. Give it a barbecue vibe. Right, yep. yeah. Like I said, it's not going to be gourmet. It's just going to be overly flavoured almost. Too strong. Too strong. Yeah. I like flavour, that's a bit too much. So the stereotype of a chef is you will do anything to avoid fast food. Nope. Fast food has its place in society. We know that. Yep. It's just about how often you eat it. They're, a bit, they're getting smaller. Right, can we just, can we zoom in on this? That's what we want. We're halfway through. He's getting lazy. Or is it bored? Getting bored? Is that your normal slang for lazy? And making them smaller, so that size only, please. These don't hit the mark. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. I'm going to make a uh, little a salsa, a nice piquant salsa to cut through it. All the work's been done for me really. We've got onion, pickle gherkin, olive, and then this will cut through the double fat. Come on, look at that. I oh, mean, that does look Hang and on. smell fantastic. Yeah, right. <laughs> Those take how long? Two minutes? Yep. That's nearly done. That's about done. I'm going to go harvest some more ingredients. Is this Ebers' fridge? Which... <laughs> uh, no, they're half open. I've never seen him with a half open bottle. No? No. <laughs> Ricotta, lovely. And gorgonzola. Gorgonzola, fantastic. Both cheeses. So this started as a meatball marinara sandwich. Yeah. You ordered this... Yeah. ...without me. Yeah. Therefore, it's your fault whatever I make. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. You go shopping, I cook. <laughs> Food tastes bad, you blame. Uh, no, you're the chef. Right, good olive oil, aged sherry vinegar into this. Finish it with some herbs. Six minutes to go. Right. Do you want me to start frying your balls? Yeah, fry the balls. Can't help but notice you're going for the Barry Taylor style of cooking by leaving that hob on. Yep. Right, so we've got a ricotta, salt, basil, really good olive oil, loads of black pepper. That's done. What else can you add? What are you missing? Fried quail egg on top. Fried quail egg, I'm so sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you like my technique? Bread knife. Yeah. Quail egg. Hit and slice. <laughs> Cut through the membrane that way. You could separate them if you wanted. I don't want to. Just I want everyone to know what you've done. <sighs> Three minutes and 10 seconds. Three minutes and 10 seconds, right. Egg in the pan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just to get rid of the excess oil. We don't want too much fat in it. <laughs> oh. oh. Easy. One and a half minutes to go. Come on, mate. Let's do it. What is that? It looks like it might have split. Yeah, I need some water. You need some water? I can yeah. get you water. There's there's not water in there, I'm afraid. Water? Water? water. Right. Ah, Prosecco will do. Prosecco? Yeah, same thing. It's not... What? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Is it cohesing? Oh, yeah. You've gone to the SPAF school of plating. Oh, <laughs> right, 30 seconds. Come on, mate. Why did you get me to fry 12? <laughs> 
15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step away from the subway. I can confirm that that looks absolutely nothing like a foot long maple <laughs> marinara subway sandwich. Really a foot. Let's get that into the sexies and then we'll give it a taste. Okay. <laughs> 20 minutes and you went from this to that. I went from meatballs in bread to bread balls on meat. <laughs> To get the fair taste test comparison, I'm guessing we have to eat the meatball marinara sandwich. I remember we? what it tastes like from 13 years ago. No, come on, we're going to eat it. I didn't get any ball in mine. No? <laughs> really dry. Pop it in. Mm -hmm. Well, probably not be the best sandwich in the world, but it does fill a hole. So the question is, have you levelled up that meatball marinara sandwich? Can I feed you? This is already levelled up. How, boy, how big's your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> this is how we do it. This, the, 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 the yolk's popped! Oh, quick, quick, quick. So much going on in that. It bears absolutely zero resemblance to any of, not just the look, but any of the flavours from that sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. There's some sweetness yep. going on as well. The cheese in the middle is mm. very rich, but it does have that salsa mm. with the pickle and the spice that cuts through it. A bit of acidity. Yeah. I think it's well balanced. I do think that's well balanced. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more salsa, but maybe that's just what I didn't get from your palm when you <laughs> served it to me. <laughs> didn't thumb it in. <laughs> Can we pretend that that's tapas? We'd have to come up with a name. Subterraneo. Pan. Pan balls. Pan. Well, there's got to be a better word. Queso for is cheese. Queso. Okay, so. Yeah. Subterraneo queso albedingos. Right. You heard it here first. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you absolutely smashed that challenge. You have 100% leveled up a Subway sandwich. But it's not just up to us. We want you to comment down below. Let us know did Kush complete the challenge and. Which fast food should he take on next?